Welcome back to Yellow Texas. Now here on the show, we love everything Small Town Texas has to offer. So for our next destination, we're sending Yellow Texas team member Ariel to the charming town of Vivaldi for a fun night out on town. Welcome to Uvalde, authentic, welcoming, and with charm to spare. It's been called the crossroads of America, and that's because downtown Uvalde is actually the meeting point of two of the longest highways in the entire country. And once a month, it's also the meeting place for small business owners, musicians, artists, and folks from all over for Foursquare Friday. Around this time, things are usually shutting down, but everything's actually getting amped up because it's Foursquare Friday. It's an event that transforms what would be a normal Friday a quiet night into a bustling crowd with the community all here in Uvalde. And as we made our way around, we bumped into the perfect person to give us a little background on Foursquare Fridays and downtown Uvalde. The name Foursquare came from the fact that Uvalde is built around four plaza squares. So we're actually standing on one of the plaza squares. Okay. So this was the market plaza back in the late 1800s. So if you can imagine, this would all have been dirt and everybody would have parked their wagons here. <laughs> while they went out and shopped downtown. Basically, Foursquare is a modernized version of the 1800s. Yes. Okay. We want to celebrate downtowns. We want to celebrate all the history. We want to get, let people who don't always come downtown have a chance to really come down and enjoy all the beautiful architecture, the fantastic stores. Mom and pop shops have something completely unique for everyone, so we want to celebrate that spirit. But speaking of shopping, what yes. are some of the must-do locations tonight? Every location Every is a location. must-do. I'm excited about tonight. We're glad you're going to come out and spend a little money, spend a little time. Oh yes, I will. <laughs> Welcome back to Yolo, Texas. We are continuing our trip to Uvalde for Foursquare Friday. And one of the big attractions of Foursquare Friday is that so many businesses stay open late to allow shoppers some extra time and to make a night of supporting their local businesses. So one of the organizations that makes this night so great is the Uvalde Consolidated Independent School District, which happens to have this really cute little candle shop. But best of all is that all these candles are made by some amazing young entrepreneurs. So our store is unique because there's no other school district that has a program like this that is 100% about the students and the students make 100% of the product. Would you mind introducing me to your wonderful kids? Yes, yeah. no, let's do it. You hold it like this and then you hit it. Okay. Am I doing this right? No, not really? It's okay, yours is super perfect. Look at mine. It's all over the place. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Yeah. It, it's a pleasure to have you guys. Do you Just, mind if I take it? Sure. sure we're good. Good. You'd have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Our next stop was built in 1891. The Uvalde Opera House is the oldest operating theater in the entire country and has been home to some of Texas's first motion pictures, countless stage productions, and just maybe a ghost or two. The most common thing that we have said is that there is a little girl here. Um, nearly everybody who comes in says that they can feel that presence. So okay. apparently there's a little girl on the stairs um, who likes to run up and down, but she doesn't bother me, so oh. as long as you know we're good, she can stay. But there's been a few incidences. The seats cause sometimes will come down by themselves. I mean, there's probably a few people hanging around, but we all get along, so I don't think they're, they've got bad intentions. Up next, it was time to partake in one of my favorite activities. That's right, y'all, it was time to shop. Take a look at the llamas and the Christmas stuff. Two of my favorite things in one shelf. How cute. This is perfect for YOLO in all of our travels. It's a little llama toothbrush cover. How cute is that? So mi vida was Amazing. I'm going to go back there countless times, but next we're on to Julian's and I can't wait to see what other kind of shopping Uvalde has. Everything is so cute. I love you, Kendra Scott. Uvalde, y'all have some amazing shopping. Back outside, the costume contest was in full swing and let me tell you that judging this contest was spooktacular. First place goes to Mama Coco. <laughs> Our final adventure in Uvalde brought us back to the main plaza for a few eerie stories. As you can see, it's dark and the sun has gone down, and I hear there's some spooky ghost tours going on, so let's go check it out. 
Led by Uvalde historian Olga Charles, we strolled along the streets of downtown listening to several ghostly stories, and being a town of great history, I was even invited to a reenactment of a good old Texas shootout. Don't worry, no one was injured in the filming of this segment. All right, y'all, big thanks to Uvalde for inviting us out. I can't believe how much fun we packed into a single Friday night. Make sure to add Foursquare Friday to your list of things to do, and happy Halloween. Ready to head to Uvalde for Foursquare Friday? Visit the links below to learn more.